Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a question that I really wanted to ask some two days ago. But I don't know why I forgot. But let me ask you the same question right now. Why do you think Museveni, of all the people, skipped the Africa Climate Summit 2023 that was held in Nairobi? Why do you think Museveni skipped that event? Because that event, in my view, was significant, politically speaking, for Museveni, Ruto, and the entire Africa. As a matter of fact, that event was attended by top diplomats from the United States of America, led by John Kerry. The president of European Commission was present. The Secretary General of the UN was present. And several African leaders were also present. But why do you think Museveni boycotted that event? Because according to the initial communications which was circulated to Kenyans, 23 heads of states were expected to this particular event. And according to the information by that time, all the 23 had confirmed their attendance. The 23 included Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. But Museveni never attended this event. Why do you think he skipped the event? That is exactly what I want to reveal to you guys in this particular video. Because if you ask me, the presence of Museveni was going to be critical for William Samoyar Ruto because of several reasons. And of course, his absence was felt and I know it affected Ruto, the president of the Republic of Kenya, in one way or the other. Because number one, William Ruto is actually keen on stamping his authority as the main guy in African politics. You know, William Ruto was elected. He didn't have serious networks. But after some time, William Ruto has been emerging as a key player in African diplomacy, issuing hard-hitting statements, attending events here and there. The presence of Museveni affected William Ruto because it's, it reduced the numbers of the leaders he wanted to this particular event. William Ruto was keen on numbers. Number two, Museveni is a known ally of William Samuel Ruto. As a matter of fact, in Kenya, in Kenyan context, those who support Odinga believes that Museveni was one of the leaders who supported William Ruto's presidency. So why would such kind of a person why would such kind of individual boycott or skip an event that was so dear to William Samuel Pluto? And of course, number three, you also know that Museveni is the president of Uganda. Uganda is the immediate neighbor of Kenya. Why did they miss the event? And lastly, Museveni is actually the father figure of these East African leader, leaders. And the fact that William Ruto was hosting this kind of high-profile event for the first time, he needed the presence of Museveni. But Museveni was absent. In this video, I want to reveal to you guys why Museveni skipped this event. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click that subscribe button now so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is now ladies and gentlemen without any further ado let us dive in but before you do that there are those people who normally send me coffee you can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on your screen and i want to thank patrick Ochoi, who has told me is planning for to run for the presidency of the republic of kenya in future for the coffee i received thanks so much comrade you can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on your screen ladies and gentlemen let us dive in why do you think museven boycotted this important event why? Number one, Museveni, just like other African leaders, are living in fear after the coup in Gabon. The truth of the matter is that very few individuals in Africa expected a coup in Gabon. But it happened. Ali Bongo is one of the longest serving presidents in the Republic, I mean in Africa. Museveni is also one of the longest-serving presidents in Africa. 
and of course there are others and this event in Nairobi the time it was happening is the same time the coup had just been executed in Gabon so Museveni feared that if he were to leave Uganda probably someone somewhere was going to stage the coup and Museveni is justified because if you look at the history of, of Africa it's very rare for coups to happen easily but in the past three months I mean three years we've witnessed seven successful coup in Africa just this year alone between December and now we've witnessed three there was the coup in uh, Gabon that just ended in July there was another coup <laughs> yeah there was another coup in uh, Niger in December there was a coup in Burkina Faso then of course the Sudan you, rem you for those who follow the politics in Sudan there were those attempted coup there was a coup in Guinea Bissau in September where Alpha Conde was kicked out so Museveni just feared coming to Kenya that okay if I come to Kenya if I leave Uganda these guys are going to remove me so that's why he never attended this event and of course you can also apply that to others also so that's the first reason number 2 Museveni also boycotted this event not really boycotted but also skipped this event because of BRICS politics <laughs> now you know this event was primarily primarily the US government event plus the UN but Museveni was in Russia the other day he's now leaning towards BRICS for those who don't understand BRICS simply means Brazil Russia India China and then the S is now South Africa and that can also explain why the South African president Cyril Ramaphosa was also not present in Nairobi because this event was primarily a US government thing and because of those politics I think Museveni was conflicted he didn't know should I attend how will Russia look at me? How, how, how will BRICS look at me? Should I not attend? So he decided not to attend. By that, it means he can give his own lame excuse to other parties. <laughs> <laughs> the other reason why Museveni never attended this event is because of the fear of Bobby Wine. There is a general election which is upcoming in Uganda. Campaigns are already on. And because of the coup which has been happening across the country, there is a new energy, renewed energy in Uganda. And Bobby Wine's rallies are receiving massive turnout, which are shocking Museveni. On the day these events were happening, Bobby Wine was holding series of political rallies, which were hugely successful. Museveni feared that if he came to Kenya and those rallies were beamed, it was going to really hurt him. Just take a glimpse of this particular rally where Bobby Wine was in, uh, I think somewhere in uh, Busia, Ugandan side, how he was massively received. That will tell you why Museveni actually feared attending this event. The fourth reason, and this is now emerging, the fact is Museveni is not comfortable with William Ruto. He's not. Especially William Ruto's moves to consolidate his position within Africa. You know, Museveni wants to be the leader of East Africa. He wants to be the main guy. In fact, the reason why Museveni was not comfortable with Raila Odinga 
was because of the fear that Ray Odinga had networks so that if Ray Odinga became the president of the Republic of Kenya, Ray Odinga was going to overshadow him. Museveni does not entertain the thought of someone from East Africa overshadowing him. He doesn't entertain that. And William Ruto should know this early enough. That if he thought Museveni was his, his person, forget. And lastly, I think there's also the issue of blood. Sorry. <clears throat> and lastly, there is also the issue of milk politics between Kenya and Uganda. And you know who, who is filling this milk politics? Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta's factor. You see, Uru Kenyatta set up factories in Uganda, and of course, apart from uh, Uru Kenyatta's uh, factory, which is uh, which was exporting now milk to the country, to Kenya, Ugandans are also milk producers, including Museveni. Then William Ruto takes over; he targets Uru Kenyatta's milk products from Uganda. He stops them. Museveni calls him for a meeting. Uru goes there. The other day, you you had by your own ears. The minister for agriculture there castigating Ruto over that move. So it means Museveni as an individual is not happy with the way William Ruto is treating Uganda under the pretext of fighting Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And because of those factors, Museveni never appeared anywhere in Kenya. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. And by the way, I'm receiving a lot of uh, opinion about ODM and their move to kick out the rebels. Uh, from uh, what I'm gathering, it seems majority of UDA supporters are not happy. Now, I have a question for those who are or who support ODM and Alodinga or Azimio for that matter. What is your honest opinion? I want to read that comment. What is your honest opinion about the move to kick out ODM rebels from ODM party? Your honest opinion as an individual. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye bye.